what's going on man welcome back to the channel today getting rid of that stubborn low back pain that you are way too young to be dealing with i don't care how old you are you're way too young to be dealing with it because it's definitely something that we can fix you probably work a sedentary job you're sitting at a desk all day hunched over typing into a keyboard staring into a screen and your low back muscles your core muscles your upper back muscles they're all shriveling up getting weak and this is what causes pain you might think it's just nagging pain and it doesn't have anything to do with anything else in your life but i promise it does once you start experiencing low back pain you start favoring the pain in that area which means you're gonna walk just a little bit more hunched over and it's only gonna get worse over time imagine how you're probably showing up to your work meetings probably don't look very confident and competent also impacts your ability to play with your kids you're not gonna put yourself in any compromising position that's gonna impact your low back so it probably just takes you further and further away from being as active with them as you would like to be. And you're definitely not doing anything crazy like picking up your wife or playing with her. That's definitely gonna throw your back out. Or at least that's the thought process. Trust me, low back pain is more than just low back pain. It is affecting your relationships. It's probably affecting your professional reputation. It impacts a lot. So here's five stretches, mobility drills that you need to be doing every single day, at least once a day, Twice a day is great, but at least once a day to make sure that you loosen up those low back muscles, start building strength and mobility there again, start moving the way that you wanna move and looking and feeling the way that you wanna look and feel. Number one is gonna be the seated forward fold. You literally can do this one sitting in a chair, sit on the edge of the chair or a bench or a bed with your feet flat on the floor, slowly bend for the hips, reach from the hips, reaching for your toes, try to get as far down as you can get. Just hang out there 20, 30 seconds, come back up, do it one more time. Now, before we keep going, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so that you don't miss any more uploads going forward. On the number two, dead hangs. Now for this one, you are gonna need to find a bar or at least something that makes you stretch to the top of your specific height. You wanna allow your body to hang freely and just decompress the spine. When we're sitting in desks and chairs all day, your spine is very compressed and as a result, all the muscles surrounding the spine all the way up the back get super tight and weak as well. So training your body to fully decompress the spine also stretches the muscles all the way through your back, low back included. This is gonna release a lot of nerve tension. It's gonna naturally improve your posture. And after a few days of doing this, you'll start to feel so much better in your day to day. You'll start to sit up straighter. You'll start to stand straighter. You'll start to be able to bend over better. All of these things that impact your quality of life. Number three, it's cat cow drill. This one's gonna look a little weird, but whatever. We grown men, figure it out. So you wanna start on all fours with your hands directly underneath your shoulders and then your knees directly underneath your hips. Basically from here, what you wanna do is focus on pushing your belly button toward the ceiling in this same position. You wanna get to the top of that, hold that there for a few seconds, and then we wanna come down and basically focus on pushing the spine to the floor. You wanna hold that for a few seconds and repeat. So you wanna do both of these for about 30 to 60 seconds or so. Great, great movement to relieve tension in that low back, and also in the upper back as well. Number four, piriformis stretch. Here, sit on a chair and cross your right ankle over your left knee, left ankle over your right knee. Just gently lean forward, keeping your back as straight as you can. And eventually you'll feel a stretch in the glute of the leg that's on the knee. You just wanna hang out here for 20 or 30 seconds or so, and then swap legs. And last but not least is gonna be child's pose. They wanna start on all fours, similar to cat cow drill, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Now you wanna slowly sit back, bringing your glutes, bringing your butt back towards your heels. Now reach your arms forward and try to get your chest on the ground. You just wanna hang out here for 30 to 60 seconds and you're good. So that's it, man. The five movements that you need to start alleviating that low back pain, getting more mobile in that area, and just feeling better, man. It doesn't feel good when any part of your body is not cooperating with what you would like to do. This low back pain is probably holding you back from exercising, which means that you're probably losing or not building muscle mass, which is affecting your energy, which is affecting your day-to-day -day life. Like I'm telling you, all these things play a factor. That's why if there's anything going on in your body, whether it's low back pain, knee pain, whether you got a crazy amount of belly fat that you've accumulated, chest fat, whatever it is, you got to find a way to fix it because it's going to start to impact everything else that's going on in your life. So that's it. Hopefully you guys got a ton of value out of this conversation. Please let me know if you plan on implementing this into your day. If you already do some of these or which one of these 
you're gonna try. And if you're ready to show up at your absolute best in your relationships, in your career, and you know that getting your body in shape is the way to get it done, click the first link in the description, book in a quick 10 minute Zoom with me, and we'll go over your goals and see if you're a good fit for our program. That's it, that's all. Make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so that you don't miss any more uploads in the future. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.